Yo, what's up FOMO fam? Let's talk about one of the hottest topics in crypto, which is of course altcoins that are exploding and especially in two years from now. Because now, and not now as in today, but now this period is a great time to accumulate the best altcoins, to accumulate on knowledge, to prepare so that we can ride a big wave in the next two years. I got two charts that show something super bullish in my opinion. So let's not waste any time if you haven't liked the video already smack that like button turn on the bell notification subscribe to the channel and let's get right into it so what i notice is that if i uh, open up youtube one of the you know things that i see is altcoins exploding you know and i i love crypto banter especially sheldon but it's all like wow exploding exploding you know when we look at the total three right here then then this is the altcoin move that we just had today and you know i i see an explosion or, or whatsoever but <coughs> the altcoin explosion will happen definitely 100 percent. i agree on that it will happen because the same chart shows me something very very bullish so let's take a look at that and let's take a look at a bitcoin chart as well let's talk about some altcoins that i think can do really 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 well so first off bitcoin twenty-eight thousand three hundred dollars i have to say bitcoin you're holding up pretty good because i honestly um, if you, if if I had to bet my money on it, right? I, I thought that this area we wouldn't, you know, last here that long, to be honest. Um, but we do so far, right? I mean, and why do I say that? Well, it's very simple. This is the twenty-eight, twenty-nine thousand level, and if we go back in history, you'll see that we have big, big, big support here, big support here, three times in a row at around the same level. And before we had this crash in, in, in June, basically, um, it's where, you know, where, 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 uh, alt or where Bitcoin, sorry, brain fart. <laughs> it's where Bitcoin hold it up pretty well, you know, until uh, we didn't, but we stayed there for quite a while. So this is a big resistance area, of course. And we did not get a you know direct rejection from this point whatsoever we tried we got slapped back down tried got slapped back down so it's looking pretty decent bitcoin keeps on trying and what's pretty good to see is that we are actually also building a floor right around around whatever this level right here around that twenty-seven thousand dollar level right we had some fake outs 26 and a half can also put the floor well maybe it's better there so but we are building a floor right here right so if you want to find a new range then we can basically i think that if we look on the shorter time frame before we get into the real juicy stuff yeah you can see right here that this is the lower side of the range and you know this 28 and a half is basically the upper side of the range right that's what you can see right here so this is the range since well two weeks give or take now eventually we will break to the up or the downside my money is still on the downside why well because like i said that that 28 29 level is a big area right and we haven't even really retested that 25k yet while i think that's a support level that we should really come back to for now it's doing pretty okay um so Another bullish thing, of course, is the DXY keeps coming down. As you can see right here, the DXY was sitting not too long ago at well, almost 106. We're now back at 102 and a half, which is pretty good, which is pretty good. We want this thing to go lower, of course. Um, another bullish chart, I, I can show you all. Another bullish chart is this right here, the USDT dominance, right? The USDT dominance is showing how much money is sitting in USDT and that dominance was climbing since the bear market started like really hard people were deploying their crypto into USDT but that's good because people did not take it out of the market and put it on their bank account or whatsoever they hold it in the USDT and it's sitting there right waiting to get deployed right so that that's pretty good and um You'll notice that by, you know, in, in, in this area right here where the dominance really went down, which was from the beginning of January till the second week of January, there it really went down. But what did Bitcoin do right there? If you look at Bitcoin, 
that was here. So Bitcoin had a massive run. So you'll see that once that little bit of USDT is getting deployed, right? It's not that much. It's not that much. If you zoom out, like it's not that much. And that gave Bitcoin a pretty good boost. Then you can already kind of figure out what happens if we break this, right? And we go down here, for example. That's a similar move. That's another 60% uh, pump or so on Bitcoin. So that's looking pretty good. Now, I do want to talk about altcoins and especially also the outlook that you should have when you buy altcoins. Because, you know, people buy altcoins and they say like, yeah, look at my altcoin doing a 2x right now. It's doing great. Are you crypto for 2x? I'm a crypto for 20x. Come on, man. And that's what we can do. Definitely. Okay. Um, so let me show you a chart that really looks bullish. First, it's a Bitcoin chart because, you know, Bitcoin is leading. Um, and that's always the case, right? And that's this chart right here. So we have this parallel channel, as you can see right here, that I drawn like this. And it, it, it's all you know, pretty good, right? I mean, we started here in 2017. We retested it here in 2019. We had a little fake out in 2020 during the uh, COVID crash. But if you look at closing basis, we're pretty close, right? That was here. And the rest was all fake out. So we were pretty close to the bottom. And uh, maybe if I draw it more perfect, we were at the bottom. And here, again, in 2022, we retested. And now we bounced off that level again. So although you feel like, wow, 15 and a half to almost 30K, it feels like a lot. Yo, zoom out on this channel and it's actually not that much, right? It's not, not, not that much. Because the more time goes by, the higher the channel goes. And... Um, I've drawn this right here because, you know, the cycle kind of tells us that we might expect the top of the bull run end of 2025. Well, you know, in the bull run in 2017, we went to the top of the channel. And in the bull run of 2021, we went to the top of the channel. So, so far, why should we not consider the fact that it might be possible that we go to the top of the channel at the end of 2025 bull run as well? If that's the case, that's here. It's $400,000. Right. It's, and again, it's, it's, it's like people might feel like oh, $400,000, what the fuck you talking about? It sounds very unrealistic when you are struggling with the tens or the 20 thousands. But then again, that's a bear market, right? In a bull market, it's a way different feeling. Um, plus, it's not compared to other bull runs, not that far from here. It's a 15x. Right, our worst cycle so far was a 17x. Right, so why is a 15x so impossible? So I won't be surprised to see us go around and 300k. I'm also completely fine with that, though. Don't get me wrong, but it's actually possible. Uh, I would not be surprised. I will be very happy. <laughs> so that's one. Um, so as long as Bitcoin is still following this channel, we good. And that's what it's done since 2017, which is already uh, six years right now. Right. So so far, so really good, really good. So. That's what I'm kind of looking out uh, to, and uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. But we can also put this on altcoins, and that's also pretty interesting. We have a little less history, as the total tree is not that old of a chart, but I put it over the time that it actually was kind of accurate right here. And that started out in, um, yeah, well, basically here 2019, so four years history, but still, it's okay. So. It's again, it's not that accurate as Bitcoin is, okay? So keep in mind. But it kind of makes sense that we have the bottom side here during the COVID crash. Also, we had a fake out, but still, also the mid band right here, that blue dotted line, you can see that we hold rejection right there. Here, we went to the top of it as well, right? So, is it now possible? that we also first go to the lower side of the band again, because that's not what we did in this bear market so far. Yeah, that's possible. Absolutely. Um, and if and there are multiple ways to do that, right? Because if we would have do that today, right today, then it means that the altcoin market will drop 30%, right? Well, this week and next week still, right? 30%. Could that happen? It's all possible. It kind of makes sense with this falling wedge right here, right? I mean, if we, if let's say hypothetically we do this, we do this right now, 
Um, and if I draw a straight line, a vertical line, right here where we are right now, it's kind of, well, that's the next week. Look. Where the fuck are we? Yeah, we are here. Sorry, those are my line. <laughs> that's here. Look, matched perfectly. So if it should happen, it should happen this week. Um, we have still a couple of more days to go. So who knows, you know, a 30% drawdown in one week. Is it impossible? Well, we came pretty close here, right? And we, uh, well, including fake out, we did it right here. And I, there are way more, you know, um, examples in history that we did. So is it impossible? No. Could it happen? Could it actually happen that you wake up tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, and you see the complete altcoin market crash the hell out of this? Yes, it is possible. Is it likely? No. But then again, like I said, it will not be the first time, and also not the second or the third or the fourth or the fifth, right? So keep in mind that it's all possible. However, what's also possible is that we do something uh, what I expect more and that's overall that we you know will go a little sideways right and um, that's the boring part but that also will bring us right there so it could be that we will go sideways until October which is half a year still right and we end up at the same level and then we then then bounce right it could happen uh, especially since altcoins really tend to pump after Bitcoin, of course, right? And uh, it's 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 like if you base this on history, like this is kind of where we are right now. If you want to compare it to the last cycle, you see this a year before the halving, give or take. Now this is also a year before the halving of the last cycle. Um, so this is kind of where we are right now. I'm not saying we're gonna have, you know, going so far up as the last time. Because difference is, last time we had a way bigger crash, right? We we went sideways, just like like it's it's kind of the same though if you look at it, right? We went down uh, pretty hard, right? We went down. Well, it's also what happened right here in this bear market. We went down. Then after that downfall, we went sideways. People thought like, oh, bottom in. Yeah. So we went sideways. Also what happened right here. And then we had that hard crash, right? Now, that's also what happened here uh, in the FTX crash. And then a little sideways and big pump up. Well, sideways, big pump up. So it, it lines up pretty well. The difference is though that from here to here was a... 51% move to the downside, and this FTX crash was a 26% move. So that was twice as, you know, less than 2019. Um, so, of course, we probably won't see such a pump as well, right? But we could definitely be somewhere like here. And if, if that's the case, yeah, overall, what came after this was pretty long and sideways movements, right? We had a big move to the upside, but we had a big move to the downside. Overall, <clears throat> it was kind of sideways until the actual halving, right? And that was all like Bitcoin really started to pump in October 2020. Now, let me take a look at the total three, what happened right there. So uh, altcoins really started to pump right here. Yeah, kind of here, right? So that's really, really here, basically. It was all pretty sideways. I mean, this was the same level as where we were here. Uh, that's a year later. So we really started to pump here. Right, and that was January 2021. So altcoins usually they 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 have a little delay when it comes uh, to Bitcoin. So we want to wait and see um, what happens, right? And it, you know maybe altcoins now lead the pump, but usually not what happens. But who knows? But if you look at this parallel channel on the altcoin market, that's pretty interesting. Because if uh, altcoins also again get to the upper side of the range in the next bull run like it did last time, it would put altcoins at around a 12 trillion, yeah, 12, 13 trillion dollar market cap. For your info, we are now sitting not even at 400 billion, all right? So 400 billion uh, times, uh, that, that's 30 times as high, 
right? 30 times as freaking high. Is my math correct? One more, no, 40. So 40 times as high. Again, this is the total three. This includes stables. Every move you'll see right here, every percent is give or take one and a half percent on actual altcoins, right? So if you see the total three go up by 10%, for example, your altcoins go up 15%. So if this could do a 50, uh, 40X, potentially, then on average altcoins could 60X. If we follow this pattern, I'm not saying that it will happen. Um, well, a lot of them will probably, well, a lot of them will guaranteed, <laughs> but a lot of them won't. Um, but that's if we still follow this pattern, right? But you know, who knows how long this pattern is actually going to hold up. Maybe we, we, we will do something like this, right? This could also happen. Or we just end up here, it's possible, but this is so far. So that's a big move in altcoins, if we can believe this. Now, what I would really like to see first is this falling wedge, I want us to see break out. Like I said in my earlier videos, I do think that we first go down to the lower side of the wedge though. Um, that will take us out of this parallel channel. Um, so that, that that's definitely true. So I want to see how it lines up. Maybe we will just do this. We don't have to go here. We don't have to. But maybe we will. Maybe we will get a rejection right here. Right? We try again, maybe. We have that quick fake out right here and then go up again. Or we get rejected and everything goes shit. No, but I, I don't know. But, you know, it, it's, it's all the possibilities. And I want to overlay them all so I can see, like, okay, what, what's making most sense? And is it still making sense if I look at multiple charts right now? Uh, instead of only just, you know, sticking to one chart, of course. So, but overall, altcoins are looking pretty good, right? And if you look at this parallel channel, so you forget about this falling wedge for a second, and you look at this parallel channel, what are the best times to buy? Well, the low side of the range, of course, right? The high side of the range, and that's where you want to buy. Where we are right now, we are relative low to it, right? If you look in hindsight or look in perspective uh, to what the upside could be. However, if you really want to get a slightly better timing, um, yeah, you should, you know, keep in consideration that if we go down here, right? I'm not saying that we will go down here exactly. Definitely not, by the way. But if we do, right, that's 30% down. So that's 45% uh, down on altcoins in general, on average. Could that happen? Yeah, could happen, right? Because also, um, it sounds like a lot, but if you look, for example, this phantom, uh, if you look at phantom from the bottom to the top of this rally, did a 4X, right? It already from the top came down 30%. Well, would it be that weird to, to think that it's going down another 45% or so, right? could happen like now i get that everything is going up and people are excited and some people might get a little ahead of it for like yo buy altcoins now no we had the pump you if you want to buy altcoins you bought it here <laughs> not here that's that's the common mistake people make because these kind of pumps get you wrecked that's the problem right because that's what ha happened so far every single time we go down people give up they get depressed we go up people feel like it's back let's buy and what happens then they get wrecked and then we go up again right people don't buy here people feel like shit right and then we go up again people feel like bottom is in buy what you buy the top again and that repeats and repeats and repeats right at some point it will uh actually be a good time to buy and the bottom is actually in and could it be now it could be right but do you want to base your money on that uh by buying every single pump in the hope that that was the pump that brought us out of the downfall or will you feel like okay altcoins are now up up that at that many x let's wait a little bit and wait for the next really good pullback and then step in or until there is a clear change of trend right what would invalidate this for me right now we had a high we had a lower high we had a lower high a lower high 
and this also it's still low oh, it's kind of low high right i want to see a clear higher high on it so i want to see something like this maybe even here right this would say for me at least like yo the trend has completely changed right and not that i will buy right there but that's a signal for me like okay the trend has changed it's not lower lows and lower highs anymore it's now a higher high it's confirmed a couple of days couple of weeks right then wait for that retest which will usually come and then you're buying at the same level as that you're buying right now but you have a little more confirmation that this is actually not again just a top right before a new bottom comes in right so you're playing it safer plus um you play so what do i wanted to say you're playing it safer plus you get the same entry as the people that actually risk uh their money more so that that's for me uh, i think very important overall you know the market is doing pretty fine right now i must say uh, again bitcoin is looking good um but yeah that, that that's what i said like so let's say altcoins will get there and is it weird to believe yeah believe what you want to believe of course uh so far name one thing in life that really surprises you leave leave a comment what surprises you most mine is crypto i i there are gonna be some weird comments if people are really gonna do this because if you think about but mine is mine is crypto man i mean look at dogecoin i a couple of years ago 2017 gave away hundreds of thousands millions of dogecoins just for fun I was getting like $50 a day maybe uh, for running a website with some ads. And I gave away millions of Dogecoins, right? Well, Dogecoin went to 80 cents. Yeah, if I knew that, right, crypto could surprise you. When Bitcoin was $10 and, and you would say like, yo, but someday it's going to be 70,000. No. Yes, <laughs> it did, right? So how weird is it to think that, you know, if you look at how the situation is right now and you think like okay at the top of the next bull run could be way higher so far that's the most realistic thing to to think about right so um yeah in that case i i definitely am looking at some altcoins uh and the altcoins that i'm mainly looking at are gaming coins um because i feel like yo gaming is never going to end never I, I'm not a gamer, but I love... I, I just bought that uh, P, PS VR 2 uh, glasses. Fucking insane! Right? But if, 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 if somehow that stuff can be related with crypto, or somehow it, it is happening, right? Um, and you can actually own NFTs, and you can use them, and you can sell them later if you do not want them anymore. And you can actual, actually play good games and make a little money for it as well. And that becomes mainstream. Yeah. Bro, then, then, then this is the niche. Like, I don't know, AI is new. AI is a hype. Um, and I think that AI <clears throat> will keep... It, it exists already for a long time, and it will do. But will it ever hit the mainstream? Or will it more be an institutional thing? Well, with JetGPT, maybe it's going to hit the mainstream a little bit. But crypto gaming is one of the things that i feel like oh, that's gonna hit the mainstream so that's what i'm looking at um eltora is a coin that i'm looking at a lot uh i think like a 20 million dollar market cap super low cap this is an easy 10x play in my opinion if it survives the bear market you don't want to get ahead of yourself and feel like oh this is going to survive yeah that's a good project they're still building you don't know you don't know you don't know we are not out of the way it's like it's not a bloody bear market but we're not out of the if i'm having a stroke i at least happy i'm sharing my last moments with you but um we are not out of the woods yet okay but you know if we want to take some picks, El Tora definitely is one that it's on my list. Um, engine starter, a launch pad, you know, it had a pretty good pump, uh, had big resistance, and what happened? Blap! It took another step. It, it went up even more. Perfect. It's been oversold forever, or overbought forever. Crazy. <laughs> but what's good is, you know, the stochastic RSI is a real uh, good indicator, you know. <clears throat> you want this to be oversold as well so you can have that big pump again um 
but what the good thing is is that it's actually still oversold and it had that pump so now when it retraces it maybe finds support here or maybe here right and then goes up even further right because here it was already oversold but look at the price right here or even here what if it came down here then we had nothing to then 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 it was a free fall like crazy so i don't see engine starter really tanking hard and going back to these levels to be honest um gala is one that i definitely feel like yo this this has a future this is one of the best crypto gaming projects out there it's too bad that they're already quite high cap though um i'd rather see a project like gala being more low cap but yeah then then, then you could look at a falcon forge for example it's not 100 percent comparable but a little bit um but that, that's one you know nakamoto games i think has a very bright future also still quite low cap mm, could be a really big play could be a really big big play strong community um this could this is also such a gem that could 10x i'm not saying it will um it, it could also 20 or 50x uh it could also just do 3x from here i don't know if I have to, you know, come up with something, then, then Nakamoto Games could be definitely one of them. Illuvium, I don't know. Um, I don't know. No. Because the problem, and you want to look at that kind of uh, stuff. <clears throat> if, you, if you look at a coin and you, and you look at a chart, right? That's what a lot of people in crypto do. They look at a chart and they just look at um, $60 right now. It was uh, $1,900, right? could do with 30x almost and then it's back at its all-time high uh, it's not really the case right and that's what you want to take a look at because then if you look at illuvium and you look at the tokens in circulation there's a big ass vesting going on for illuvium right so yes um 60 1900 let me be stupid and do that math real quick so oh sorry so in that case you could say like, okay, oh yeah, it's true. Um, 31x, and then it's back at its all-time high. So Illuvium can do a 30x. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, in that case, you want to take a look at the market cap, right? And the all-time high market cap was 1.1 billion. And the market cap right now is 1.400 million. One, 150 million, whatever. So in that case... You know, 8x, and then it's back at its all-time high. Why? There are more to more more tokens in circulation right now. And if you ever wonder um, with a project how that's looking, they have it in the white paper. Go ask in their Telegram, whatever. But if you if you, if you want to look it up really quick, you have token.unlocks.app. Really useful site. Doesn't have uh, a lot of tokens listed yet, but in this case, Illuvium is, for example. So you can press Illuvium you can see the unlock right so here you see like oh yeah it's not 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 so interesting right we have just the public sale and there is just one million tokens okay cool but here bam all of a sudden we went from one million to well basically two and a half million so 150 percent more tokens got vested right but if the demand doesn't go up, but the supply does, then the price crashes. And that was in around July 2022. Right? So if you look at July 2022, the funny thing is the market cap, right, did not change in that period. Basically, it stayed quite the same, a little bumpy right there. If you look at the price in that period, you see the price, July 2022, went very hard, right? Went from 180 all the way to, well, 90. It cut in half. And it's still vesting pretty hard, right? July, the hard vesting is over. Um, but the nice thing is also, in, in, well, I think it's pretty safe to, you know, July 2024. Here's the halving. Here is the halving, the Bitcoin halving happening, right? Altcoins will follow usually after that. So I think that if Illuvium is still doing pretty okay, then May, April, May, maybe... It's a good time to buy Luvium because then the big token vesting is over. Plus the bull run is probably going on, right? Now it's still kind of a whatever sideways market. It could still crash. Plus there are still tokens vested. So I wouldn't be buying Luvium right now. Um, IMX, yeah, it's a project that I love the project. Um, I just don't know about the price. I, I don't know. It pumped so hard. So I don't know. 
POR talked about that. C Defy accumulating that like crazy, but for some reason that's the one that's tanking right now. So thank you. But uh, yeah, C Defy going to do some pretty okay uh, IDOs uh, the coming. Uh, so this is interesting. C Defy is going to release two projects, which I think can do very well. One of them is uh, Conian. Uh, this is an NFT project which looks really good. They have quite the hype on their Twitter as well. This really looks to be a big project. They got a lot of interaction as well. Uh, I really, really, really like it. Um, and it starts out with a $200,000 market cap or so. And they are going to release Chain GPT. Now, it's pretty cool because Chain GPT has been worked on for quite a while already. And they are really working, 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 right? Now, the nice thing is that everybody is hyped about uh <laughs> about uh crypto gpt so let me show you that a lot of people talk about that right crypto gp well it's just gpt let me let me show you this mm, yeah crypto gpt right it's it, it went you know, it did 40x i think from the pre-sale it was on uh downmaker i didn't participate um, but it did very well. Market cap still quite low. Uh, doesn't show. I think it has like ten million dollar market cap or so. But the problem, or the problem, the thing is, this fully diluted version is completely through the roof, right? Uh, tokenomics suck on this project. It really sucks. And the thing is that it has a lot of hype right now. I don't know if Coin Market Cap has it. I can show you actually. Chain GPT is a lot better in my opinion. Um, and that's still coming out, so we can really catch that from the beginning. Check, fuck you, man. Whatever. But this has a lot of hype because this was one of the first GPT tokens, right? Doesn't mean it's the best, right? Um, in my opinion, Chain GPT is way better. You can do way more right here. They are working on it for way longer as well. And the problem also with Crypto GPT is that if you go look on their Twitter, which is quite funny, they joined in February 2023. What's the, what does that tell you? Well, you know, the thing is that... Um, Chat GPT really became a hype in November, give or take, right? November of last year. And you'll see that, for example, that crypto GPT token, in February, they decided like, oh, we can do that too. And it, it feels like rushed because um, it was a hype. So let's, let's, make, let's make this as well. It's now March, right? So this exists for a month. How good can the actual project be if you be working on it for a month? I don't know. Feels, feels, I don't know. I don't know. Um, Chain GPT is like working on it before that as well. And there is some, some kind of a comparison sh sheet between uh, these two. I don't know where it is exactly. But um, yeah, this is a project that I'm very much interested in. I don't know how much they are going to raise with CDFI exactly, but I'm going all in on this and I think this could do very well. So therefore, you know, I'm in CDFI, uh, not because I think that the token will, you know, it could come down, it could go up, but you know, what, what, what if that change GPT does uh, 100x, for example? You know, let's say I get an allocation of a hundred thousand or of a thousand dollars. I think it's more, and it does hundred X, and I can pull off hundred K, and I have my complete CDFI allocation back already. More, so one good idea and you're done. So therefore, I don't really, yeah, I want to. You know, if it goes to twenty dollars, I'm fucking happy, but. I read I have successful ideas. <laughs> um, Superverse is a coin that I'm definitely uh, interested in. Um, Ultra still, yeah, Ultra, I'm still interested in that. Yeah, and there are a couple of more coins outside of um, of crypto gaming as well, of course. Uh, one example is, uh, is Hex, just kidding, fuck that shit. Uh, one example is, uh, well, I'm not much of a fan of Cardano, but I must tell you, I think that if it goes down to around um, 20 cents, I'm gonna buy some because I don't like Cardano and the product that they supposed to have and, 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 and that it's just not a good chain, 
right? It's a layer one. It should do layer one things. Well, for all the years that it exists, it doesn't do it. So it's more like the meme coin of the layer ones. But it has the hype and the community. In that case, who am I to say like, could I not make fucking insane returns? So why not? Um, but there are a lot. So, you know, when, when I look at the total three um, and where it could go, right? Again, I'm not saying that it will get here. Do that for the uh, 60x, 40x. Could also do a 20x, so actual altcoins around 30x. But that means that your low cap could easily do 100x and some others maybe just a 10x. You know, it's an average. Um, I think the next bull run, we're going to be very happy. So I want to end it here. Um, <laughs> it sounds a little cruel. I want to end it now. I want to wrap it up right here. Thanks for watching. I have a lot of cool videos going. If you're interested in buying one of these altcoins, there's a link to Bybit in the description. If you deposit $100 and just trade a little bit right there, just buy your altcoins right there, basically. You have a chance of winning an iPhone 14. Giveaway is now going on, ending end of April. So you still have a lot of time to do that. For now, thanks for watching. If you enjoy the content, like the video, subscribe to the channel turn on the bell notifications and i'll see you very soon